Hello everybody, MD Polo here, thanks for joining me. Today I'm going to take you to Gucci Glock Heaven. In front of you you have the new line of pistols from Faxon Firearms. It's called the FX-19 line of pistols. And you have the Patriot on the left and the Hellfire on the right. A little bit later on in the video we're also going to compare it to the Zev Glock. So truly, Gucci Glock heaven. Before we go any further, I'd like to thank my friends at Shoot Point Blank in Carmel, Indiana for their help and for their support. So the FX-19 line of guns were announced in SHOT Show 2019 by Faxon Firearms. Now one of their claims to fame is that both of these pistols, although they are Gucci Glock pistols, both of them will accept Glock, 19, uh, Glock parts and Glock accessories. So although the Gucci Glocks have certainly become popular in the last years with offerings from Zev and from Shadow Systems, Faxon believes that their in-house engineering, their machining capabilities will put them above the rest. So as you can see, this is the Hellfire and it is geared mostly towards competition. Just let you walk around the pistol for a little bit. And this is the Patriot and this is geared towards the self-defense concealed carry market. Both of them are cut and ready for optics and of course both have been safety checked several times prior to the beginning of the video. So if we take a, a look at the Patriot first, it is definitely set up as a carry gun. And as I talk, I continue to walk you through it. It's got very aggressive serrations in the slide and it's got a, a fiber optic front The light is not cooperating with me here. Let me see if I can get that to work. There we go. Sorry about that. So I'll give you a look at, this, at, the, at the sights. And it does have a fiber optic front with a black dot rear sight. And right off the bat, I'm going to tell you that for the amount of money that you're spending on this pistol, you get one 15 round mag. That's it. It even says Glock on it. So you get one Glock mag. Okay, so now taking a look at the Hellfire. This one is competition oriented for sure. It comes with a threaded barrel, so it's silencer ready, and it includes suppressor height night sights. So I hope you can see that there. That is the picture. It figures lightning cuts on the slide and an enhanced magwell. Now both guns come in a TSA approved case which is absolutely amazing. Let me show you the case. It looks like something from Pelican just tremendously robust and cut specifically for the gun and this is the the lock. You don't get a flimsy lock like you get in other guns. This is the lock and it comes in this just amazing case. The Hellfire, as I mentioned, is made for competition and it also comes, the mag, it is also a Glock mag. It is a 17 round mag I'm sorry, it's a 15 round mag, but it comes with a plus five extension.
Both the guns, the Patriot and the Hellfire, are, come with a diamond-like DLC coating on, the, on with the slides. They're machined in-house at Faxon from 17-4 stainless steel. They have a match grade series uh, Glock 19 barrel. And the Hellfire has I'm trying to a half by twenty eight threaded barrel. Both barrels fe feature optic cuts for mounting, and they are cut for the Trichicon RMR and for the Holosun five hundred seven red dots. Both of them have very aggressive serrations, pretty much everywhere you look. So I was giving you a look at the back of them. Both of them have a 1911 style grip as far as the angle is concerned. So you're not going to have that grit, that Glock weird angle on the grip. It is, both of them have very aggressive grip textures. Probably some of the best that I've seen. They are very aggressive, but nothing that is going to hurt your hand or leave marks on it like a P10C or anything like that. I, I think this is amazingly comfortable and the gun is not going anywhere. The texture is in the front. It's got a very, very high undercut here, also for your magwell. Has serrations in the front. Some polymer grip utilizes a 1911 style angle. So you're not gonna get the weird Glock angle that some people complain about. And very aggressive but yet comfortable grip texture. It's some of the best grip texture that I've felt. The gun is so secure, it doesn't hurt you, it's not going anywhere. You can also see the double undercut. This is really, really high. It's got the indentation here and texture in the front. So you can really get high on this gun and they're very, very comfortable. The frame offers both frames, full Picatinny rails, 1913 rails. And according to Faxon, they both fit Glock holsters. So here we have a CYA holster from my Glock 19. And it's just not even close. That's not going anywhere. And I also have a holster from Bravo Concealment for my Glock 19 that is open in the front and it's not even close. I'm not saying there aren't any, any holsters out there that might fit, but at least the ones that I have access to, it's not even doable. Both, both of them have an extended mag release that is very positive. So I really like the way this feels. And Overwatch Precision triggers. Both of them have the Overwatch Precision trigger. They have polished everything on the inside and it truly is an amazing trigger. To get the mag out of the way. Let's see if we can see it here. It's got the little safety bar that disappears so it makes it completely flat. There's a little bit of travel there but it's so smooth. You don't feel any grit. You don't, you don't feel anything. And it breaks right there. For the reset, it comes right back. Very, very nice. And on the Patriot, so, same thing, same overwatch trigger. 
and there's the wall. Brakes. Just wonderful feeling trigger. Nothing like a regular Glock trigger. So shooting experience, the Hellfire, it's actually more enjoyable to shoot, less recoil, and again, this is nothing but my experience, less recoil, and overall, a better shooting experience. However, I was more accurate with the Patriot. Looking at some of the numbers, Capacity, like I mentioned, for the Hellfire is 20 rounds, so it's 15 plus 5, so actually 21, 15 plus 5 plus 1. The Patriot is 15 plus 1. And the barrel length on the Hellfire is 4.47 inches. Overall length is 9.13 inches and weight is 24.8 ounces. So what I wanted to do is compare it with the Zev Glock 19. So I'm not gonna do a deep dive comparison as far as numbers and anything like that, but I wanted to show you both. They're both suppressor ready. You can see a bit of the difference in the textures. the back of it. You can see the, the back plates. There is a difference in the back plates. There you go. So, pick your poison. Both have fantastic triggers. Both of them are cut for optics. One has fiber optics. The other, Faxon has night sights, at least in this configuration. Both have suppressor height sights, although the ones on the Faxon are higher than the Zeb. Both have the undercut. The Zev has texture under, in the, underneath. The Faxon does not. The Zev has single slot for accessories. So, wanted to wanted to show you the different guns. Now, as far as prices are concerned, the Faxon comes in the Hellfire, which is the suppressor ready, comes in at a MSRP of 1500 although you can find it in retail, at least around here, for 1425 the Patriot comes in on, with an MSRP of 1300 and here you can find it for 1200 ish and 35 or so. And the Zev Glock 19, I'm not sure what the MSRP is, but the retail price, at least in my area, is $2,000. So, Gucci Glock Heaven, pick your poison. I really like the way the Hellfire shot. I, I do like the way the Zev shoots as well. So there you go, you go guys. Um, I'm sorry if I was a little bit all over the place today, uh, dealing with a couple of uh, equipment issues here, and um, a little bit of traffic where I am as well. So thank you for your patience, and um, hope you enjoyed this walk through Gucci Glock Heaven. If you like what you saw, please consider clicking the like and the subscribe button. It helps us a lot. Also, I do now have presence in uh, Facebook and Instagram, both of them at MD Polo Shooting. So consider taking a look over there and following me as well. 
As always, thank you. I truly appreciate you watching. And until the next one, God bless.